So for those of you who don't know, translucent face powder is used to set makeup control that oily shine and give a matte look. So that's more popular with people who are under shiny lights or have extra oily skin. But did you know that there's a certain type of translucent face powder that's also beneficial for people who have hyperpigmentation and dry skin? So most translucent powders are made of one or the following or a combination of any of the two or three. So the, first, the more common one is talc. The second one is ZMAs, and the third one is silica or mica. So the first one is the most common one, and that's talc. Talc can be comedogenic to people who tend to be breakout prone or tend to get those bumpy, flesh-colored, bumpy skin. So the second one is cornstarch. Cornstarch, um, which is ZMAs, is also very common in a lot of mineral-based makeup, and that also controls oil. However, cornstarch has some sugar molecules in that. And so what that can do when it is in contact with moisture is it can actually increase bacteria and yeast growth. So for those of you who break uh, breakout prone or you have rosacea, um, psoriasis or eczema on your face, it's also not recommended. And then the last one is mica. And mica is a mineral and it gives that shimmery kind of frosty looking uh, look. And that is in actually a lot, not only translucent face powders, but it's in blush, it's in highlighters, it's also in eyeshadows. Now just be careful with mica because if you inhale it over time, it has been linked to causing fibrosis in the lungs. So then what is a better alternative for these translucent face powders if your skin tends to be sensitive or you have acne or rosacea, psoriasis or eczema? Well, first, let me introduce myself. My name is Christy, and I own Go See Christy Beauty Boutique. Um, I have a, a, li a professional license to treat clients that have acne, hyperpigmentation, and also address fine lines and wrinkles. So if you haven't already, we would love to have you come join our channel. Please go ahead and hit subscribe down below, as well as our notification bell, so you can get notifications when we post a new video, as well as please hit our like button because that really helps to support our channel. So here we go into the next um, what to use for an alternative for translucent face powders. Okay, so that alternative for the translucent face powders is translucent rice powders. They are not as common. Now I'm not talking about the ones that they blend in with talc or mica or cornstarch. You have to be careful because rice powder is not, um, it is not a cheap ingredient. So a lot of times when you get it, look at the ingredients list because a lot of times they will make it a blend instead of 100% rice powder in it. So what is the difference between translucent rice powder and regular rice powder? Well, first, regular rice powder ranges in shades. It can be all the way from light all the way to opaque. So if you've ever seen those Japanese women, um, geisha women, where they have the white all over their face, that is the opaque rice powder. Um, and rice powder actually originated in Asia because rice powder has phytic acid, which are natural lighteners and brighteners of the skin. And translucent is obviously sheer. So there's two types of trans, uh, there's Wah! So not only does the translucent rice powder, um, you know, set makeup and control oil, rice has a unique ability to um, absorb oil, but also release moisture back into the skin. So it helps with age spots and hyperpigmentation, and it also increases your skin to hold in moisture. And the other thing that makes it translucent or sheer is because that is micronized, pulverized rice. So here I actually have rice powder. It did take a while for me to find it because every time I contacted a company, I asked them, is it a blend? Is it filled with talc? Or is it filled with cornstarch or mica? So this one here, 
Um, the three main ingredients in rice powder, which is the full blend, is it has phytic acid. And phytic acid is a natural lightener and brightener to the skin. So if you are someone who has hyperpigmentation or you have age spots, over time, in addition to using lightening agents for your skin, the rice powder really helps increase that efficacy. The second one, in addition to the phytic acid, it is, has um, allantoin. And allantoin is a natural anti inflammatory and it actually increases moisture in your skin. And third, it has ferulic acid. And ferulic acid is derived from rice bran oil. It is an antioxidant. And what is great about ferulic acid is it actually increases the efficacy of vitamin C and vitamin E. And how it does that is that when vitamin C used alone starts to neutralize the free radicals, it needs to re-energize itself to continue fighting the free, the free radicals. And ferulic acid helps boost the antioxidant properties of those two ingredients. And so if you don't understand about how that works, we did have a video prior to this and it was talking about, it's called um, the um, anti-aging ingredients that you don't ever wanna mix. So go ahead and catch that later. So because uh, pure rice powder is so beneficial for the skin, it actually helps increase and promote um, healthy skin and actually promotes skin repair. So these are some things that you need to look for in rice powder. So one of the things that you wanna look for in the rice powder is you wanna make sure that if you have oily or breakout prone skin, you don't wanna look for rice powder that's blended with, like I mentioned earlier in the video, talc or synthetic ingredients or silica. So those are the two main ingredients you don't want blended. If you can find the um, ingredients um, that have pure rice powder, that is the one that you want to get. You also don't want to get anything that has synthetic fragrance. And one of the keys is when you're looking at the ingredients list, if it says fragrance and then in parentheses parfum, P-A-R-F-U-M, then um, usually that means that the fragrance was derived synthetically. And then with dry skin to normal skin, you want to avoid using the rice powder mixed with silica because that will actually overdraw your skin. And for those of you who have sensitive skin types or you already have rosacea, eczema, or psoriasis, you definitely don't want to be using the cornstarch. If you can find the rice powder, that will be more beneficial to your skin. So here comes the pro tip on how to use the rice powder for your specific skin care types. So for those of you who have oily skin, or breakout prone skin, first of all, you want to use a full size kabuki brush like this or even a bigger. So the, the fluffier, the better, okay? And what you wanna do is before you put on your foundation, you want to lightly dust the rice powder all over your face with a very full size kabuki brush. Then apply your mineral makeup on top of that. And then when that mineral or your liquid makeup or your mineral makeup is on top of that, then you want to do that again. You want to take your full-size kabuki brush and you want to lightly dust on top of the foundation and your blush. And that will work as a setting powder. So that is for oily skin. Now for dry skin, remember, it actually releases slowly into your skin moisture. So what you want to do is after you put on your sunscreen, and what's great about this is because it does have ferulic acid in rice powder, it actually increases um, the photo-aging protection abilities of the sunscreen. So after you put on your sunscreen and your liquid foundation or your mineral makeup, lightly dust the um, rice powder after you put on your blush and your powder. And you only have to do it once for dry skin. Now, why I like this particular rice powder is because, first of all, if you look at the ingredients here, the first one is kosher grade rice powder. And then the next one is authentic silk powder. And silk powder is actually derived from silk, the silk that the silkworms produce. And the authentic silk powder is both an anti-inflammatory agent, so it helps reduce redness, and it really helps with people who have rosacea or eczema or acne, so it reduces that redness, but it also has that unique ability to release moisture and also absorb oil. 
Okay, so this rice powder, and I'm gonna put a link um, if you are interested in this, it has no filler, so it doesn't have any talc, it doesn't have any soy, gluten, mica, bismuth, um, or any of the other fillers that you typically see in rice powders. And believe me, I have looked and looked and looked. So this one absolutely doesn't have any of those fillers in there. And for those of you who are still with me, here is an additional pro tip. You can actually take this rice powder and um, because it does have a small amount of kaolin clay and you can actually mix it with water or a toner and you can use it as a face mask. And what it does is it actually absorbs excess oil if you have oily skin, increase moisture abilities if you have dry skin, and um, actually it helps lighten and brighten your skin tone. So there is that one tip for you. The links are all in the descriptions below as well as most of our videos. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.